Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn about how you can share the content in Microsoft Teams. So sharing your screen, any of the specific window or a particular monitor screen is really important. You need to understand when you are doing any sort of presentation or you are teaching, you are taking any sort of classes, then how you are going to share the screen so that it's more effective and the audience that is there is able to see the proper screen and the size how you are going to ensure all of that right so first thing is say for example in this particular chat group i want to share something right or share a particular screen or a particular app i need to go ahead and start the video call or the audio call so that everyone in the group whosoever are the members are able to join that particular meeting or I can go ahead in the teams itself and within the team, say for example, sprinters, I want to start a meeting, right? So I can straight away go to meet and in, if I click on the drop down here, you will see that I can st straight away start the meeting immediately, meet now, or I can schedule a meeting. So say for example, I want to meet now with the everyone who is part of the sprinters team. So I'll click on meet now and the meeting will get started. Now meeting uh, option will be absolutely similar. So this option, the, the pop-up that you see will be absolutely similar. If you start a meeting from the chat in a particular group that you want to start for. So if, so for example, I want to start a video call here. So I'll click on video call in this particular chat group. Okay. Let me start the audio call because my video stream is being used here. So it might not work at both places, but let's see if it opens. So I have started the video call. I can straight away accept the call. So there is a other user who is started getting call who is part of this particular group. They have started getting call and I have accepted this particular call, right? Let me mute from here. Okay. So now we have joined the call, right? We have joined the call. And now as a presenter, I can share different screen or different monitor that are attached right and the content within that particular screen so to share you simply click on share content here right so there is a icon here click on share content and then it will open the different options that you can utilize to share the screen and you will see that here as i have started the call with the regression testing group right so you will see that the tagline here is regression testing call with regression testing now in the presenter mode i can add the background okay so i can go ahead and say yeah i'll add a background so my uh, background doesn't appear so as of now you won't be able to see myself unless and until i disable the camera that i'm talking in but camera is kind of turned on here right so you'll see that you know here the camera is being on but because the stream is used other elsewhere you are not able to see that so now let me go ahead and share the screen so you'll see that here i'm getting screen options right so i have two screens attached okay so primary and secondary screen and now i can share the complete screen the monitor whatever monitors i have attached on my desktop on my um, system and then there are different options for sharing as well so you can share specific windows as well so below there you will see that you have the option for the window if you click on that all the active windows that are open on your desktop or laptop will be available here so you, you can see we have a powerpoint we have a chrome open we have another edge open we have this excel file uh, open and a uh, word file open so if you want to specifically share a particular app so that only that app gets shared then you can choose that particular app and start sharing so i can say click on this particular powerpoint and now this powerpoint is getting shared with the participants that are there in that particular meeting okay now how you can ensure that the participants at the other end are able to see the content properly it is not too big or too small for them so when you are sharing your app you might have to zoom in and out a little bit so basically if i zoom out um, zoom in a little bit it will be absolutely easy for the user so maybe your monitor is big uh, and of high resolution and the screen size of the laptop is small so in that particular case you have to zoom in your powerpoint slide and that will ensure that the other side whosoever is viewing the powerpoint slide will be able to view the 
content properly right the other thing is say for example now you are sharing only the powerpoint slide okay so sometimes if you are just sharing a particular app then it not show everything that you are doing on your computer right so the other participants won't be able to see any of the ribbon below right so any of the options or uh, this these apps that you show uh, see here it won't be visible to them only the highlighted red area uh, is basically visible to them okay so how you can ensure that they are able to see the ev everything that is there on the desktop is basically you can go ahead and stop sharing okay so i'll go ahead and stop sharing click on stop sharing icon here and then again click on share and now i can go ahead and share the complete screen okay so here are the screen so screen one screen two that i have i can choose the screen the primary screen and you will see now the red highlighted area is has chosen everything that is there on my screen and including every icon that is available and that will be basically shared so, so the full screen apart from the second screen that is there the first screen that i have chosen will be shared with the participant now if i minimize this powerpoint the current view is the teams view and the teams will be visible so i can switch back and forth to other apps and then the members will be able to view the other apps whatever i'm going to share now zoom in and out will definitely help other team members to basically go ahead and see the content if they if the content is really small when you are presenting you can go ahead zoom in and zoom out the other setting is that from your computer from your desktop you can also change the resolution right so you can go ahead and say for example just right click on your desktop and go to display settings and here if you scroll down you know like the the size is 125 at the moment right so i can go to the advanced scaling settings and i I can change this custom scaling size to a higher size and that way if I change it to 200 and apply that way the the font size or basically the font size and the text size on your monitor will be increased and the other side whosoever is having a smaller screen size and not able to see the content properly on your screen for them it will be much easier so these are some of the options that you can basically try out mostly zoom in zoom out will be good enough you won't have to go ahead and do these many uh, different settings especially in the sharing if you share your desktop and change the display options to a little higher level that will be good enough for the proper sharing experience for your participants that are there when you are having meeting or training and this is kind of one time setting once you are aware that my desktop resolution if i change it to 200 percent that's the best when my audience can be uh, are able to see the screen share properly then that is good enough for you to understand that yes every time you have to go ahead and change it before you go ahead and start the screen share or share the content within the meeting right so if i click on the icon here let me move it and if i go ahead and stop sharing okay so to stop share simply click on stop sharing icon that appears let me maximize and click on share again and then there are other options to share as well right so you can share the whiteboard so microsoft whiteboard as well so that everyone can work collaboratively or you can share your powerpoint live or you can share the files that are there available or browse from your computer or from the onedrive right so these are the files that are available in the onedrive and that can be shared as well these are the live files or you can browse from your computer or browse from a onedrive to share any of the files okay in the presenter mode you can have the background whenever your camera is turned on so whenever people see you then there is a background whatever background you choose from this background is available whenever you are presenting right so this is briefly about sharing content and especially the top one is if you want to include the computer sound from your computer to be uh, also uh, available to the members that are in the meeting then you can enable this include computer sound and any click any typing that you will do on your computer that will be also uh, any computer sound that is there in your computer will be basically available to the participants in the meeting all right so that's all about sharing the content in microsoft teams i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching